Hello everybody, welcome back to Dev more DevOps slash SRE interview questions and answers. Uh, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube's algorithm. And now let's get started. Questions for today. First one, what is an ELK stack? First of all, what is a stack? When you're deploying a service, you got to put them on some kind of cloud or data center, whatever. On top of that, you're going to have some kind of virtual machines or Docker containers. On top of that, you're going to have some kind of um, middleware uh, or web-facing application like Apache, whatever. Um, you might even have other things like caching layers and database layers. All of that is called a stack. Whatever you need in those layers of stack to deliver your service is called a stack. So in that stack, um, one of the um, really um, popular one is called ELK stack. ELK because it has Elasticsearch as the data store. It has log stash as the logging mechanism and indexing of the logs. And then you have Kibana as the dashboard to look at. So that's the stack, right? Um, so you have to know that because it's a very common one used in, in today's environments. Um, although it is kind of going out of fashion because um, Elasticsearch as a data store is not really that useful anymore compared to what we need to do today. But either way, you should know what that is because it's used in many, many uh, companies. Moving on to the next question, what is your favorite data store and why? Again, there are many, many data stores, I don't know, maybe tens or whatever. Elasticsearch, DynamoDB, MySQL, relational, non-relational, uh, there's like a million of them. But if you have used or studied uh, data stores, you should be able to talk about that because sometimes you know them by database, you know them by a NoSQL database, you know them by their own name like Elasticsearch and whatnot, right? So you, so you have to know that those are data stores. That's where persistent data lives, right? So you have to know what that is and whichever it is that you pick or because you've used it in the past, you should be able to talk about it in some level of details, you know? So that's that. I'm moving on to the next question. What is a KPI? KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. Uh, this is actually a term that came from business. For example, how would Starbucks know how are they doing in different stores, for example, right? They could take the same store all the stores that, exi that ex um, exited, uh, not exited, existed a year ago, right? And then they would g get the revenue data from those stores, let's say from a month ago or a year ago, whatnot, and compare it to the same store's revenue data today. And just th that will give them some kind of trending as to how they're doing. That's a KPI. In DevOps paradigm, there are many, many KPIs. Uh, sometimes they're called, they're part of the, the observability. I can never say that word. Observability. Still can't say it. Um, a part of the DevOps. So you'd want to measure all these metrics. Um, a, an easy one would be how many times you're deploying per day, how many times you're having to roll back, um, how fast is your service, meaning, What's the latency level? How many 500 errors you're getting compared to the number of requests? You can measure many, many metrics that way, and any one of them could be construed as your as one of your KPIs. So in a mature DevOps slash SRE organization, you would have dashboards that portray all these metrics so that you know how things are going today versus some other day in the past, like a week ago, a month ago, what's the trend? Uh, are, are things getting worse or better? Things of that nature. That is a, that is a, um, having, having that is, is a sign of a mature SRE slash DevOps organization. All right, that's all for today. And we will, uh, if you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next DevOps slash SRE interview video. Bye-bye.